regular UC Berkeley summer session, Michael Ashley and I will be teaching an intensive six-week course called Digital Documentation and Representation in Archaeology, Managing Cultural Heritage. This will be taught in the MacTia style, very similar to those courses that we taught in the field, from the field to the file sequence, but it takes place entirely at the San Francisco Presidio in the MacTia West Lab in the Officers Club and in the field context of Fort Winfield Scott. This summer, each student in the course participates as a member of a team to create the site management plan for the historic site of Fort Winfield Scott. Fort Scott includes the late 19th century and early 20th century huge gun batteries on the west coast of the Presidio, western part of the Presidio. Fort Scott itself was a military post constructed in 1910 within the Presidio as a separate fort to house the gun crews and their administrative and command uh, posts. And this was in fact called the Coastal Artillery Command. The fort takes up a considerable portion of the northwest part of the Presidio and I'm just trying to zero in on it here using my Google map and you can see it's um, you can see there the the pink roofs of the very beautiful houses of uh, the barracks as they go all around the um, the parade ground there and then to the east of it, to the right, are the officers', qu officers quarters and the gardens. The project that the students in the summer course will be carrying out builds on the research being done that has been done earlier in 2006 and is being done now in 2007. The first of these inspirations or um, building blocks is the EDAW plan that in November to December 2006, this international landscape architecture firm used Fort Winfield Scott as a training workshop for their interns and provided the, pre the Presidio with a pro bono plan for developing the area of gardens and the Dragonfly Creek to the east of the fort's campus as a place for public engagement that focuses on stewardship and sustainability. Here, for example, is a their vision of a raised boardwalk across the Dragonfly Creek, across which people could walk and view and learn and so on. There is also exists a cultural landscape assessment for the complete area of Fort Winfield Scott done by the architecture and design firm SMWM for the Presidio Trust. The second of the building blocks was a workshop that was held in February of 2007 by Julian Richards as part of his visit to the University of California Berkeley campus. Julia, Julian Richards is the director of the Archaeology Data Services in the UK that is a, a, provides a model for archiving digital data of cultural heritage sites. Well, he uh, gave we his workshop the that we on the best follow, practices in archiving uh, and stewarding digital in, in archives of cultural heritage. Um, so the ADS then offers an internationally um, respected model for this a kind UK of thing. That not many and of you and for archiving the, the data and disseminating it to a larger bit, audience, uh, that is the public, directly and dynamically the across the web. And, and what our, what our funding <laughs> just our giving you here a chance to hear and see what Julian Richards is like. So the third building block for the for our summer course is the uh, is the SciArc laser scanning. During 2006 to 2007, UC Berkeley interns working in collaboration with and sponsored by SciArc have been using the Presidio as a training ground for learning the techniques of laser scanning and its manipulation and interpretation. The vision of SciArc and its umbrella company, Kasaira Family Foundation, is to bring together and archive in very high detail and accuracy 3D physical measurements of endangered endangered World Heritage Sites to be used for site management, repair, restoration and reconstruction. In the spring of 2007, the interns and SIARC staff 
working in collaboration with cultural heritage imaging, have begun to focus on Fort Winfield Scott, including the fort's barracks, parade ground and fortifications. The final building block is the ECOMOS workshop. Michael Ashley will be leading a mobile workshop at the 10th US ECOMOS, that is the International Council on Monuments and Sites Symposium, that will be held in April 2007 at the San Francisco Presidio. Workshop participants will spend a day discussing the issues of high-definition documentation for cultural heritage with the intention of producing digital content that is also useful for public interpretation and tourism. And again, they are focusing on Fort Winfield Scott. So our summer session course then is building on this base and the students of the summer course in this way come into, into contact with a highly active real world situation. They'll be learning about understanding what it takes to steward cultural heritage on a local and global scale. They'll participate in training, uh, building skills of various kinds, and they'll be concentrating or building teamwork. It's one of the most important things. At the same time, they'll also be learning how to plan, to brainstorm, to review their peers, to keep to timelines, and to actually end up with a finished product. The course guides students through the process of cultural heritage management. The first part comprises research, case studies, initial planning and team formation. The second part focuses on a digital documentation strategy for collecting, processing ca and cataloguing a variety of di different digital media and sources, including photography, 3D laser scanning, videography, oral histories, archival research, field planning and archaeological survey. In the third part of the course, students will learn to integrate these digital media into a data set that holistically describes the place, as well as critical analysis of how site management is conducted in the real world. They will explore various mechanisms for the representation of this information, with particular focus on the use of me new media as a basis for constructing narratives that imbue multiple perspectives on the heritage sites. In the fourth and final part of the course, students learn to take these data and their narratives and apply them to the formation of a site management plan that could fulfill standards requirements from professional organizations such as ECOMOS, UNESCO and the World Monument Funds and other international, national and local governances. The challenge for the course team is to create a compelling, inclusive site management plan that could ultimately put in, be put into practice. Thank you. Sorry I've gone to 17 and a half minutes. Hope you'll stay with me for that long. Thank you. Sorry I can't be there as well. But I'm in other parts of the world.